Hello beautiful people, so one thing that I wish I could have gotten serious with when I was in college is ways of making money because there's a time that I got so comfortable that I felt I don't really have to hustle because as long as my parents can pay the bills, you can just survive. Then after college you realize that there are some things that you wanted to do but you haven't started them only because you felt so comfortable in college. So today I have come with four ideas on things that you can do to earn money in college. That is some of them are things that are going to bring you money immediately but some of them are things that you're going to wait for some time then when the result come and when you start earning from it it is something that will always be happy of starting it something like youtube so i'll be talking about youtube on the last point point number four so just make sure you stick around until the last point so that you don't miss that out If you're new here, my name is Lois Odor and on this channel I talk about nursing, that is my journey through nursing school and through getting into nursing and also I give advice tips for those who are still in nursing school and those who are getting into the nursing career so that you can go through your own journey in an even smooth and better way. So if that is something you're interested in, just make sure that you subscribe so that you don't miss the other videos. So. The first thing I'm going to talk about is a way in which you can make money in such a way that you can get the returns immediately and that is about hustling. So when you go when you like get from home, there's something that you are good at, like when it comes to service or giving out products. Like there's something you're good at, let's say marketing, you're good at selling a certain product, maybe you used to have a shop or you used to sell some products, so you something that you're good at. Or you're good at a certain service, like you are good at making hair, you're good at like doing makeup like there's so many things that we as a different individuals know how to do so you can use that like way of doing a product or way of giving a service for you to be able to earn money in college so let me give you an example like personally when i was in college i used to make people's hair although it never used to pay so good because most of the college students like they say they don't have money at a times like people bring in friendship stuff and someone wants you to do it for free or at times someone wants you to do it for a lesser price because most of the time they consider that because you're a student or because you don't know how to do it as perfect as the saloonist you have to like they have to pay you a smaller fee <laughs> like when they go to the saloon they'll pay 1000 but for you they want to pay you like 300 or 350 only because they feel like there it's better than here so they have to pay you less so at times it wasn't so good so i think when i got my second or third year like i just stopped like making people so yeah like i felt it wasn't even worth it but then if you get people who can pay you good money like you can use you can use sh such a service to be able to get money like if there's something you're good at let's say makeup because you realize like most of the students who get to college like they are really trying to get in like they're really trying to fit in because most of them are just from high school and they've been in boarding they've just always been at home so now they're starting to re to like discover themselves so that is when they like feel they like hear people put on loops so they want to buy earrings they hear our oh, people put on necklace so they want to buy necklace they hear people put on high heel shoes they want to buy that they hear people put on jeans they want to buy that like when they get into college like that's when most students literally like experience so many new things so that means that is a chance for you to be able to sell a service or a product like if you can get i used to see a certain guy from a certain university used to come to our college sell these loops at 100 shillings and when I go to Nairobi, I used to know a place where I can get them at 30 shillings. So you can imagine, he gets them at 30 shillings, come and sells each pair at 100 shillings or 150. Some of them they used to sell like the other ones which are pretty at 200. So you can imagine what, pro what the, like the amount of, we're making the profit even three times. So you can use such an idea, like sell something that most of the students are interested in, like just try and hustle about that. And then number two is about writing like if you're someone who is in, always interested in writing and you always feel like you're so good at like creating something in terms of writing you can start your own blog or your own website whereby you can create an education like you can create let's say you you know most of the time when we used to have our discussions we used to google most of these things and remember when you google that thing there's someone who is creating that what you are reading there's someone who was this who had just sat down and created that into a blog and then also when it comes to like creating a blog you can create things like nursing because you know when someone gets into nursing school like it, they usually hear a lot of things at a time they'll just have to like search about it and want to hear like what does someone have to say about getting into nursing school the stress of nursing school so you can create a blog or a you know or a website about let's say nursing education or the nursing career and then you can post that so how someone earns from that is that 
they usually put ads like whenever you watch uh, this like whenever you open a certain let's say website you usually see some advertisements pop pop like they keep on popping down there and up there and on the screen like when you scroll you see an ad, like an advertisement about something so that's the same thing that happens that they they advert the companies will keep on bringing their products onto your blog and then you'll get paid from that through google adsense and all this other like marketing stuff and then apart from that there's also something we call affiliate marketing whereby you can advertise other people's products and then you can get like a certain amount from that like when you, you they use your link or something that you've associated with that product they be able, you'll be able to be to get a certain cut a certain interest from that product and then apart from that is that when you also have your own thing like when you also have your own blog and your own website there's a time that you'll be able to get a big crowd of people and you can even create a course i've all you've always seen these online courses that after you've done that you can create a certain ebook or something like a like a course book and then you can sell it like people in order for people to get that online course when it comes to something that you're talking about they'll have to pay for that so you can see that and writing when it comes to writing like there's so many things let me something like freelance writing that you can be able to write for other companies maybe like things that they talk about like, let's say newspapers or something you can be able to write for them and then they pay you for that like when you love writing you can just check out other places whereby they talk about freelance writing and creating your own blog and just learn about how to do that then you can just start like your own writing things about nursing and the nursing course and then number three is about product selling like you can be able to sell your own products this is something that i've always wanted to get into but i think due to laziness and let me say at times it usually gets so busy like for us we used to go for it for classes like eight to five and you're so tired like the thing that you always wanted to do you keep on postponing but if you're someone who is really dedicated to do this and you can create your own time you can do product selling and when it comes to product selling that is for students let's say nothing you can do something like prints you can print t-shirts that are written maybe a certain quote about nursing then you sell that you can sell like i've seen some students i don't know where they're from but they usually sell scrubs and then they just like advertise it in the groups for nurses and like for me this is something that i've always wanted to do because like selling products is usually like people have to buy it there's things like scrub uniforms people have to buy it so you can get someone who knows how to do it if you feel like you're so busy someone who knows how to do it then you become the link they make the product then you become the link so that someone who wants it has to pass through you then they receive that product so you can like in that kind of way create a product like with other person like are you getting me like a link with another person the thing is about software and applications like if you've noticed most of us usually have these applications in our phones i don't know pharmacology anatomy book i don't know about bones do you know that there are people who sit down and create this stuff like i always see like students in like i think i can't remember the course that it was but there was a student who created a certain like app and it was so useful like if you're someone who is interested in such kind of things like if you're someone who has the possibility of doing that like you can get into that and that can really get you a lot of money when people like download it and when people purchase it then there's something else that i always wanted to do and i don't know like why i became so lazy about it it's about creating flashcards and reference materials because at times in nursing school like you cannot let's say the med surgery book it's so huge you cannot be able to read that entire book so at times people want the work to be made easier for them so that's why things like flashcards can be really good at that because when you create these flashcards and you sell them people feel like you've made their work easier and they can be able to like get this and something like the reference materials like if by get them something that like as shorten the thing they like, like the notes that they can I'll shorten the notes and like during exams they can be able to refer from that like that is something that I know so many people could be able to buy like I know so many things that we in Kenya and most of the African countries we haven't embraced some of these things yet like some of these products and some of these services and doing some of these things we haven't like gotten into them so much but I think it's high time like we get into product selling and we get into marketing some of these like it can be really good for some of the students to like 
do the marketing stuff because you know at times you don't know people but you can like use this student able to get to the fellow students and just give them another side hustle so things like that even like the id badges i remember there's a time when you used to create this uh the badges and name tags that we go with to the hospital we used to get others that were for 50 bob and they used to look so weird i don't know they have a pin these pins that are used for clothes and it looks so weird so if you can be able to create ones that look a little bit cuter and that like they have like drawings of, of like a stethoscope or something like it looks so nice you hear and also something like customized books like the notebook is like customized in such a way that it looks like a nursing book and it looks so nice so people some people usually like la love things that are kind of customized even bottles like water bottles cups that are customized like there's so many products that you can enter into but you just can't enter into everything so you can just find a certain nursing gear or a certain product that nurses are interested in like even bag even then bag for going for clinicals and then you just design it in a way that it like interests a nursing student or a nurse and then you can sell it as a your own product here and then now number four the other thing is about a uh, video and that is about being a youtuber so for me i started youtube when i was still in college but then like i really didn't understand what youtube is about like i started doing youtube just to be able to pass information to other nursing students wanted to join nursing but then i knew people were being paid but i never realized like how do you how are you how do you get paid how do you make yourself to rank higher how do you get yourself to get paid so most of the time people usually think that oh when i get into youtube they start paying me so like immediately that's why i'm telling you some of these uh ways of earning money in college they usually take time like you must start it in your first year but then you start like earning money maybe in your second or your third year so it's something that might take a little bit of time but it's something that when you really really get into and like people know you it's something that can really really pay off like when you get to that point so when it comes to like creating video some people usually think oh no i have to get a camera i have to get um a big ring light i have to get i don't know what microphone or like for me when i started i only had my phone it was oppo yeah i had a oppo phone so i only had that phone and that is the only thing i had so i used to place my phone um on the window like against the window so that the light can hit on me so that's how i used to record like i never had any microphone or ring light or anything like that so when the weather is bad i couldn't be able to record so i depended on the sunlight and i did that for so long almost a year just like depended on sunlight and my stand used to be any stool like if i find a stool and then i put like my books because you can assume you have like huge books so i take a stool put the books i pile the books then put one book against the wall then that's where i place my phone depends on the like sunlight and that's it that's how i used to create my videos when it comes to being paid it really took a while like i got monetized like a month ago like i haven't received my first paycheck because there's a certain threshold you have to get to so it's really kind of tricky especially for like us in this country you know like being paid usually depends even in the country you are in because remember youtube are being paid depending on the advertisers so you can't compare the advertisers who are like for the companies in kenya with someone who is in us or in canada so you see like it it depends with where you are and also it depends with the type of like content you are making like there's some content something like vlog like doesn't really pay a lot like for me if i like look at my analytics something like vlogs they really don't pay a lot like because the advertisers like in fact have you ever watched a vlog and you've seen like so many ads in between like it's all right so that is what happens so you can get into youtube but you just have to be patient and you just have to be committed like there's some so many ways people earn money there maybe like affiliate marketing whereby you can link yourself with a certain company let's say amazon or something familiar like jumia so they give you a certain link whereby you've chosen a certain product so they give you a link to that product whereby if it's someone like you usually see people say if you want to get this machine you can click the link below you have ever had something like that so when you click that link and you go and buy this machine that person usually gets a certain amount of money like that like a cut from that machine let's say let me give you an example like something like it is let's say it's one thousand they'll give you a hundred shillings from that you get me so the more people buy it through your link you're getting some money from it something like that like there's so many ways 
people in other countries are using but so many people haven't started using in this country and that is why youtubers are still complaining so much in this country but i know there's they'll reach a time where by people will be able to understand all the ways and it should be so easy to earn money through that yeah so just try and earn money through the right way you'll hear of other other kind of ways that people usually like and money with something like locum i know you guys have already had it, had about locum which is whereby let's say a certain nurse is busy they give you that chance to be able to go and work on their shift and then when you work on their shift they'll pay you a certain amount of money you know the reason as to why this is risky is because remember you don't have a license if you're still a student when something happens you will be answerable because you are unsupervised you don't have a license so you'd be answerable so some people use such kind of methods to be able to earn money but it is at your own risk it is so risky even something like um score you'll hear something about scoring a patient or something whereby you have ha like we used to have other students who used to go to the outpatient department especially guys because they have the lab coat and then like they take pa patient's history they give prescriptions and something like that and then they tell like them like I'll need 200 shillings from you, then they, give, they get the 200 shillings and then they give you Panadol and you go home. Like, you're using the skill for the wrong purpose and when you got, get caught, like, you'll be answerable for your own life. So, the other means you'll hear people using, but just know some of them are risky. And it's always nice if you start something of your own in the correct way, even if you want to see the result immediately, one bit will just pay you off, like, get that from me. So, thank you for watching this video. See you in my next video. Make sure you all watch the other videos that you see around here. And bye bye.